This video presentation details best practices as it pertains to installing a Calyx ONT in a non-temperature controlled environment. In this video, we will focus on the installation of subscriber services on P-Series outdoor ONTs. In this video, we will focus on the wiring of phone lines, either hardwired tip and ring or pre-wired phone cords, wiring of ethernet cables, as well as wiring of coaxial RF video cables. In addition, we'll discuss the sealing of entry and exit points and make sure that ONT is properly grounded and secure before completing the installation. As a final step, we will turn up the ONT using Voice Activate. Prior to connecting the phone lines, slip the ONT grommet over the ends of the wires. Prepare the ends of the phone cord by stripping back the outer jacket, removing the black and yellow leads, and removing the inner shield on the red and green leads. Wrap the prepared wire ends around the appropriate posts and tighten until snug. Trim off any excess wire as needed. Verify the grommet previously slipped over the phone lines will slip into the grommet channel on the ONT enclosure. If pre-wired phone cord is the preferred connection method, this phone cord can be installed into the RJ11 receptacles on the ONT electronics module. To complete this step, Remove the tip and ring terminal blocks from the recessed molded slots on the ONT and then unplug the RJ11 jumpers that connect the receptacles to the tip and ring block. Plug in the telephone service wiring to the provided jacks on the ONT. Next, install a cable tie into the pre notch slots on the ONT electronics module and secure the phone lines to the cable tie. Prior to cinching the cable tie tight, make sure there is enough slack to prevent undue stress on the phone line service wiring. In addition, check to make sure that the proper amount of slack is available outside the enclosure for routing the phone lines to their preferred location. Once complete, trim off excess cable tie material. To install Ethernet cables, perform similar steps as you would for phone lines. As instructed previously, slip the Ethernet cables through the ONT grommet. Next, prepare a cable tie and insert the RJ45 connectors into the provided connections on the main electronics module and secure with the cable tie. Note that cables should not be stretched so tightly that signal integrity is impacted. To complete the service wiring, install a coaxial cable to the RF video port on the main electronics. Thread the RG58 coax fitting onto the post and tighten until snug. Note that the coaxial connection post on the main electronics should never be used as a handhold as doing so may damage the circuitry inside the case. Caution: After prolonged power up of the ONT, the coax port on the electronics module may be hot to the touch. With service wiring installed and secured, close the main electronics module and tighten the ground lug post using a hex pin wrench. Make one final check to ensure service wiring is securely connected, is not pinched or kinked, and that cables are tucked safely behind the retaining tabs. With service wiring complete, ensure service wiring is tucked behind the retaining tab and then install the grommets on the bottom of the enclosure. Make sure there is no interference with the outer enclosure and that grommets are seated securely in their channels. Prior to finalizing the installation, make sure service wiring leaving the enclosure is secure. To complete the installation, seal all entry and exit points with a watertight sealant such as silicone. By sealing these entry and exit points, insects, dirt, and wind-driven rain will not be able to penetrate the outer enclosure. The following section provides information on turning up the ONT for the first time using the popular Voice Activate feature. Embedded in the firmware, Voice Activate allows the on-site technician to get the ONT up and running without assistance from the central office. 
Before getting started, assume the following steps have previously been completed. The incoming fiber has been disconnected and capped appropriately. Services have been provisioned back at the home office. An ONT provisioning record has been created in CMS or Consumer Connect Plus. The provisioning record includes a 10-digit unique numeric registration ID. And finally, make sure the ONT profile selected in the provisioning record matches the ONT type being turned up. Remove the RJ11 phone wire from line 1 of the ONT. Plug in a spare phone cord into the jack. Attach the other end to a banjo adapter. Locate a butt set and attach the leads to the banjo adapter using the red and green or tip and ring connection points. Apply power to the ONT and wait about one minute for the off-hook LED to begin flashing. On the butt set keypad, press star 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 zero to enter the voice activate mode of the ONT. The system returns a voice prompt. Please enter registration ID followed by pound. Using the butt set, enter the registration ID associated with this ONT. Note that when the butt set is in speaker mode, a tone is played as digits are entered. When complete, press the pound key. The system provides verification of the digits you entered and asks if you want to accept this entry. You entered 61255512122. If correct, enter 1, otherwise enter 0. Registration ID saved. Before closing the ONT enclosure, disconnect the butt set, reattach the phone line to the line 1 port on the ONT, and then disconnect the power. Reconnect the fiber pigtail on the main electronics to the SCAPC fiber bulkhead fitting on the splice tray. Reapply power to the ONT. Wait for about one minute while the ONT completes its boot up process. The network will auto discover the ONT and begin downloading appropriate service provisioning information. Note that the ONT may reboot upon successfully downloading updated firmware. Close the outer cover and secure with the captive hex pin screw embedded in the outer enclosure. This completes the installation of service wiring for the Calyx P-Series Outdoor ONT. Look for the next video in the series in the coming weeks that will cover other topics designed to enhance and prolong your broadband experience.